Welcome back to Let's Play Doom. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I've just found this spinny barrel. I don't know if this is a physics glitch or if it's like a hidden thing, but I'm going to take a look at it. It was a physics glitch! Mystery solved. Last time I found this uh, snippet of the OG Doom level nuclear plant, which is very appropriate. Yeah, this place is hosed. This is what, like a trillion dollars worth of damage here? Everything is wrecked. I wonder how difficult it's going to be to get all that shit into space. <gasps> the auto map! Give it to me, I covet that map. I covet thy neighbor's map. How do I get up there? Oh yeah, I was heading to that. Okay. I kept losing my train of thought in a way that I... Oh, fuck. That was nice. Mm. Oh. said the thing uh, last time. Oh fuck, all my armor is gone. Uh, I'm starting to say, oh, I keep losing my train of thought. and It's because shit like that keeps happening, man! It's very difficult to focus in a game that forces you to be as aggressive as this one. I'm not... Oh, man, I'm not used to this. I mean, hell, the only reason I stopped here was to make a joke about this thing being a maximum skid. And then I saw the switch. Not to be confused with the Nintendo console. This game is available on the Switch, incidentally, though I'm told it's not a very good port. Oh, fuck. Uh... No. I did make a wrong turn. Let's uh, correct that. I was worrying I've been climbing all over this shit in order to get to the secret level in this one. Nah, it's just over there. Don't need that. Stay focused. Stay committed. I'll commit you, asshole. <gasps> Lore! See, I was wondering about this. You and a... Uh, UNSC personnel. Great. UAC personnel. Completely different franchise. Samuel Hayden. Samuel Hayden is the chairman of the UAC. Born into the wealthy and powerful Hayden family, he completed his master's in theoretical physics at Oxford University. He showed prodigious talent in several fields, including thermodynamics, electromagnetic theory, and nuclear sciences. At a young age, he established the Samuel Hayden Foundation, a philanthropic organization dedicated to sponsoring young scientific talent and funding scientific programs in schools and colleges. His daunting intellect made him a prime target for the UAC, and they recruited him soon after he was appointed general director general director of the Global Science Council. Hmm. Samuel took over leadership of the UAC a few months after the discovery of the Argent Fracture and immediately put the Argent Tower into production. During co construction of the Argent Tower, Samuel was diagnosed with stage 4 inoperable brain cancer. Samuel was given six months to live. He dedicated those last few months to finding a radical solution to his mortality, cybernetic transference. Interesting. I figured it was something like that, because I have absolutely no idea if, uh... If, uh... And it's like, oh, it's just no robots or people in this universe. They have equal rights and everything. Watcher. Stay uh, it watches. Huh. Remember, the blind council is always watching. I did just come in, so 
Oh, okay, there's a door here I didn't see. Hey, buddy. Wait. No, I don't need to curb stomp you. Oh, hell. I do need you dead, though. So, uh, I'm just gonna do something, and then... Hey, death to you. Eat a dick! I'm on fire. Off the top rope! I missed. Hey, look who's dead. I don't know if robots are people here or not, uh, but I did figure that if a robot was an intelligent being, it probably wouldn't be named Dr. Samuel Hayden. Core temperature rising. Stop. Oh, another chainsaw. Oh, fuck. Ahem, just a moment. That was lucky. I didn't even see that guy I had a thing in his chest until the last possible moment. Uh, knock on wood, this is gonna go great! And stay down. Oh, I don't like you. Yes! <laughs> Running to Hell can't save you from me. God damn it. One of these days you can get a different ammunition from that. Isn't that a store in GTA? Oh. Huh. Look at that. Oh no, there's a whole level underneath everything. Oh no, I've been there. Not over there though, fuck. And uh, I did fucking see the other collectible a moment ago. I get there. Interesting. I don't remember what an echo is. I thought... Hmm. Oh, this is clearly a dead end, so I'm just gonna... Oh. Foundry, I forgot it did this. The Foundry, an extension wing of resource operations, the first Mars outpost, processes all of the heavy elements mined from the outlying Martian landscape and from around the original location of the Argent Fracture. Refining Argent Plasma requires a large amount of transitional metals and noble gases, so a central location that can be systematically cleansed and decontaminated is required to keep Argent energy production at maximum efficiency. As, as such, this area is considered a high-risk area, and all UAC employees are subject to regular med checks. Why is my phone lighting up? Okay. Uh, all UAC employees are subject to regular med checks to ensure their production capabilities are not degraded by the environment. That's a very polite way to say that. Industrial accident-related deaths in the foundry drop dramatically in MTC-2146. Wait, is that just the year 2146? <laughs> Thanks to the implementation of new UAC safety protocols, our employees exposed to dangerous material are immediately sent to the Lazarus Labs for cleansing, re-education, and where possible, reintegration. Uh, 
as a result of this protocol, officially reported deaths have dropped to negligible amounts. Officially reported deaths. Great. Yeah, the tattoos. What the hell? Oh, that's what that noise is. Okay. Damn, I wanted to rip his arm off. Demonic threat reduced by 50%. Oh, I didn't uh, mention it. Uh, I didn't finish the thought last time, among many, many others, but... Uh, last session, I mean. But, uh... One of the things I hope to see is uh, an enemy with a gun for an arm where I grab the gun, jam it into his chin, and make him blow his head off. Is that so much to ask? Really, there's no to press E to force door open? What gives, big guy? Wait, it's just here? Ah, that would do it. Sorry if you saw that. I can't remember if the uh, two interfaces show each other. But the uh, recording program I use... Oh, uh, prototype guy, plasma rifle. Stings. Put some ice on that. Oh yeah, right, cool. Because there was actually a thing for that this time. The Blind Council is always watching. This fucking cult operation. was a thing I definitely... Oh, yes! That's right! How do I get there? Stay focused. Stay committed. You are talking to Burning Dog Face, my good man. Staying focused is a... Uh, kind of a lost cause at this point. Power slide! No, not really. Huh, could have sworn the other thing was going to be behind me, the, uh, the vent I couldn't open earlier. Yoink! Got your nose. I don't know why I said that, that was nowhere near his head. No, that's not the right button. This is the right button, and then I go here. Just the one. Oh! Oh, fuck me. Eight in the other one. I have not been paying attention. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. I guess that's pretty cool. I just... I'm just not in love with any of these upgrades, to be honest. Ah, I might as well do something while I'm here, so uh, here's speedy recovery. And I don't want that. No, not at all. I'm 
imprecise enough as it is. Alright, additional headshot damage. Skullcracker! Oops. Oh, it actually looks a bit different, I think. Hmm. I'm just distracting myself and going in the wrong direction. Of all the things that are distracting me in this game, I do not need to be one of them. I mentioned the Archviles in the previous video, and they were bastards who got introduced in Doom 3. Or, sorry, Doom 2 in uh, 1994, I think it was. Just one year after the original Doom. And frankly, Doom 2 was basically just more Doom. Same engine, same enemies, they just added a bunch of stuff. Where am I going? I can't find a way out. Oh, right! Yes, down here. Yeah, fuck it. Stay focused. Stay committed. I need to get all the way over there and get my hands on... Oh, no, that was behind the thing, wasn't it? God damn it, I want... Ah, there we go. Okay, so how do I get to you? Over here, maybe. Oh, God. Good. It went exactly as I hoped. I am heading in the general direction. Ah! Uh. Good, good. Okay, so how do I get in there? I would check to see if the wall is only painted on, but, you know. Nope, seems pretty solid. Wait a minute. Ow. Nope, there, there's an invisible wall there. The opposite of what I thought might have been happening. Up. Um, arch vials have an attack where they cause fire to sprout out of the ground beneath your feet. And if they can see you, they can hit you. But frankly, that kind of pales in comparison to the other thing, given that arch vials have the power to bring dead enemies back from, well, death. I meant to do that. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Thank you. Your Praetor token will go very nicely alongside my others. How the hell do I get out of here now? Given that that door didn't work. how good the heat dispersion of this suit is. Is he, like, boiling in here? Or is it a nice spring day? Ah! My toes. I need those to... toe the line? Alright, now I have a problem. I don't know how to get out of here. I don't think I can make that jump. Fucking pipe, get out of my way! Aha! Oh, that's just the glowy bit, that's not gray. Fine, then we'll uh, see if I can just walk out. I cannot.
Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, fuck. Thank you for the lights. Those are very helpful. Oh, right, everything is wrecked. I was just wondering, how the hell is anyone supposed to get around this place? Given that it's run by civvies and eggheads. Oh, no. They've eaten your arm. Why did you do that? Why do I now possess an arm? Um, no oh, good. There's the timer. Oh, Christ. I think I only hit him with one bullet. <laughs> yeah, Skullcracker. Okay. Good name. Hmm. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh... Oh. I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Doom when I try and work out why I've now got a severed arm in my inventory. <sighs> Later!